slope will be positive, or the second derivative should be positive. On the other hand, in the top middle here, we start off with a very positive slope on the left side and a not so positive slope on the right side. So our slope is positive, but it's decreasing, and that means the derivative of our slope is negative. So f double prime of x would be negative for this graph. Lastly, if you're a straight line, your slope is a constant, so the derivative of that slope should be zero. So if your first derivative is positive and you want to know exactly what type of curve you've got, find your second derivative and determine if it's positive or negative. The same basic arguments work for this bottom row as well. So every graph that we draw in this lesson and the next one as well are going to be based on connecting dots with these types of curves, specifically the four on the left here, where first derivative and second derivative are positive or negative. We have special names for these situations. As we've said before, when your first derivative is positive, you are increasing, and when your first derivative is negative, you are decreasing. But if your second derivative is negative, you're a concave up graph. Well, if your second derivative is negative, we say that you're a concave down graph. Know that the concave up is this. And the concave down is this. So you could think of the concave up as parts of a smile, and concave down as parts of a smile. Do any graphing, all I really need to do.